What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're in Hoover, Alabama and we're getting ready to check out a chic new model from an old friend of ours, Signature Home. So let me get you outside, I'll tell you all about it. So today we're going to be walking through the Wilton 1A. This is a beautiful, beautiful townhome. I love the brick here on the exterior and even as it gets going around to the backyard, I just think it looks awesome. Cute little front porch. Perfect. This home though, it does feature four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, a two car garage, and all of that sits inside of approximately 2,296 square feet. I could just imagine sitting out here hanging out on this front porch. That's nice. Now, if you are interested in this home, it starts at approximately $460,000. But with that, let's get inside and see what all we can find. All right, another townhome. Man, oh man. Uh, I hope some of you guys like the townhomes. I wanna, I try to spice it up a little bit, you know what I mean? And you know, most of the townhomes that we tour, they gotta be pretty good uh, for us to get into them. They gotta be a little different, you know what I mean? They gotta have something, something about them. Uh, and this one definitely has it. Um, I definitely love the decor throughout the home. And then uh, I'm gonna let you decide on the layout. But when you first walk in, you've got the living room, which greets you. And I like the fact that it's not wide open to all the other spaces. It's kind of divided up a little bit by the staircase right here, but beautiful accent wall, kind of a nice blue green color, nice and dark. And that's carried out throughout um, the kitchen and dining room as well. But a little spot for the TV right here. Maybe a fireplace, you know, but then you've got tons of windows looking out into the front yard. You've got the door going out onto that beautiful front porch. And then from there, we can start hopping into the home. I do want to point out the floors, though. While you do have all these darker tones throughout the house, the floor and the wood color, it's very light. And I like that a lot. I think it looks really sharp. Um, let's go ahead and... We'll go straight down this way and then we'll work our way back up to all the rooms before we go upstairs. So coming into the kitchen area, you've got a great big island right here, tons of seating space, nice little pendant lights hanging down over the top of the island. Got a little outlet on this side and then the dishwasher and undermount sink. So not necessarily looking out of a window, but you do have views back out uh, into like the, the backyard patio area. So, you know, if you are entertaining, you can still have a little bit of interaction with everybody. And you've got the trash can drawer. Nice and soft clothes. And then along the backside, huge wall of cabinets. Like I said, again, same color that's carried from the living room into here, which is super nice. We'll get into some of these cabinets. Oh, built-in microwave. We haven't, uh, like a microwave up above the stove. We haven't seen that in a while. It's nice to have a little bit of variety. You know what I mean? I know some people like it, some people don't. Um, I like the fact that it's different. There's no, you know, I like my range hoods, but, you know, it's nice to see something a little different in homes every now and again. You've got a nice tile backsplash. And then you've got this huge cupboard. I didn't know what to call it. Just like a, a towering wall of cabinets. But this one, you know, it's almost like a little pantry area. But then next to all of this, You've got this door that sits right here up underneath of the stairwell, which is an actual pantry. So I think that makes that a cupboard. But cool little pantry area. I like the fact that um, it just, it looks like, I don't even know what you would call it because it just looks like it's, it's like something from a movie, you know what I mean? Like where it's tucked up underneath of the stairs. I don't know. I almost wanted to call this a cupboard, but I don't know what you would actually call it. I, but I do like the fact that it's underneath of the stairs. I think it looks cool. And then all the way at the end, this is a, this is a fun little dining room. You know what I mean? It's like your, your 
out to eat or something at some swanky restaurant. You know what I mean? But that swanky restaurant's here in your house. It's got a cool little light fixture, nice little neon sign, or oh, I think that's maybe an LED sign back there. And just a cool little accent wall. I like that a lot. It's like a statement piece without trying to be a statement piece or a conversation piece, you know what I mean? Which is pretty neat. And then all the way at the back of the house, you've got this door right here, which goes out to the two-car garage. We'll get there in just a second. But around the corner, you come into the laundry room. So cool shelves up above the washer and dryer hookups. Now, the one thing... We walked through some homes before that you walk into the laundry room and it's just washer dryer hookups. There's no um, counter space whatsoever. You know what I mean? And I've always, I've had a hard time envisioning what it would look like. But here, at least when they, you know, put the furniture and stuff in, they put this little cabinet here, which is a good use of space because while you don't have counter space, now you do because you've got this. You know what I mean? So. I just like it because it helps me envision what it would look like if it was just a blank slate and I had to do something with it. And then this door right here, again, leads out garage into door open. Thank you, the garage. So you've got some attic access out here. you got the two stalls. And then I'll go ahead and turn you around. you got the electric panel. And then just kind of some fun storagey options. You've got the water heater over there tucked away, nice and hidden. Now, I don't think, you might have to get your own bike rack, you know what I mean? I don't know if that comes with the house or not. Maybe, everything's negotiable, right? So you can always ask them to put it in your home. All right, and then let's go ahead and hop out onto the back patio area. We'll start working our way down the right-hand side of the house. So this is just a fun little spot. Obviously, you can do anything you wanted to back here, but uh, I just, you know, I like the the string lights. I think they look really good. It's a, you know, it's that swanky restaurant going from the inside. You can come back out here, hang out, and then you've got the covered portion of the patio. You've got the little TV. Maybe put a grill out here. Maybe put a fire pit out yonder. That would be nice. I don't know. Just tons of ideas are running through my head now. And then as we continue working our way down this side of the house, we come to the powder room. That's a fun little... Got the lemurs on the wallpaper. Pretty neat. Got the pedestal vanity. And then it's kind of... It's a little tight in here. You know what I mean? You have to actually get in here and shut the door in order to access the toilet area. But, you know, it's just a powder room, so it doesn't really need to be that big. And then as we work our way further down, this right here, it currently looks like it's set up as like a dry bar. Um, just like, a, you know, I would say a dry bar, like a little wine area. But the fact is, it's cold outside. I came in here, I was looking for a place to put my coat and I didn't know where to put it. And uh, I was just thinking to myself, I was wondering, maybe this could have been a closet area. You put some doors right here and then you got a spot to hang up your coats. Or if you keep it uh, looking like this or for this purpose, would you get like uh, a coat hook um, something like that or just like a wall coat hanging hook or something uh, let me know put it over there maybe that would you know take care of not having a a coat closet anywhere because i didn't know where to put it but then all the way back at the front of the house you come into the master bedroom so some nice wayne's coating for the accent wall This one's definitely got me thinking, you know what I mean? Ooh, that's a fun little throw. I need that as a full-size blanket. I think it'll be cozy. Jen's got one of those, not, not with that big of ropes, you know what I mean? But wherever 
we're just hanging out on the couch and stuff I always she's got another favorite blanket nowadays so I get the, the little rope bl blanket to cuddle up underneath of and that thing is just toasty but coming into the ensuite double vanities uh, you've got some nice tile here on the floor and then back behind us you've got the standalone shower tile going all the way up to the ceiling and then you've got that nice dark shower tray as well the toilet kind of tucked here around the corner a linen closet and then all the way at the back you've got the master closet with tons of different shelves and hanging dowels all adjustable my jacket <laughs> that's fine somewhere to put it you know what i mean luckily they had some some hangers in there so that was nice so from here we'll go ahead and work our way up to the second floor if you are interested in this model or signature homes we've toured several different models from them before uh, you can click the link right there at the top of the description or you can go over to timothypelivingston.com there you can search all the floor plans that we've toured across the country you can filter them based off of number of bedrooms square footage price uh, layout whether you want like first floor master second floor master that type of stuff um, watch the video like you are right now and then reach out to the builder up here at the top of the stairs you've got some more attic space so this is just kind of like a common little corridor area and all the different rooms shoot off of it so we've got kind of a, another storage closet up here right in the middle whether you use it for a linen closet or game closet you've got uh, the second full bathroom so single vanity up here and I think this one's gonna be shared by these two bedrooms over here on this side so there's two on this side and two on the front side then you've got the toilet and then a shower and tub insert and then all the way at the back you have a bedroom on either side so this is the first of the bedrooms I like the fact that it's bumped out a little bit over there it just kind of opens up the room a little bit if not it would be like it would feel super tiny nice big closets too and then on the opposite side Yeah, looks like they just kind of meet up right there, which is nice. This one pretty much identical, just like a mirror image of the first one. But it looks like its closet's going to be a little different. This one's got a step-in closet. Then on the opposite side, kind of got a similar situation, um, but this right here, obviously, uh, I can't get in there. It's locked right now, but that would be another bedroom. Looks like it has another walk-in closet, but I'll still put up the, the size of it for you so you can just kind of have an idea. And then all the way at the back, I don't think this this would just be like a sitting room so that would have been the third bedroom up upstairs the fourth bedroom overall but then this would just be like a you know a game room upstairs den little media center something along those lines i wonder what that thing is a little indoor jungle gym but uh you know an office I bet this would make a pretty good office something along those lines and then just off of that you come into the third full bathroom another single vanity kind of a moody light in here 
got the toilet and then another shower and tub insert So very nice. All right, I had a bunch of thoughts and opinions about this home, but now I wanna hear what yours are uh, down in the comments. Again, if you do want any more information on uh, this model or signature homes, you can click that link right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com. With that though, I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for taking the time to tour this home with me today. And as always, my name is Timothy. I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.